more examples uh, for us to understand all the uh, solvents, you know, how to find the uh, specification or the rating of a welding transformer or any other transformer because most times uh, the, the rating of some welding transformers might not be there. We, they, do, they, they come with no name plates for some of them. So if you meet such uh, welding transformers so, uh, and it's faulty, you need to do your calculations to find its specification, its rating. First of all, uh, to be a guide to know your, you know, uh, your solution uh, strategies or the measures you're going to take to put the uh, transformer back uh, working. So, um, so we're going to practice with this example for a welding transformer whose data is uh, considered a uh, number of tons of the primary 300 tons, number of tons for the secondary 50 tons, then the core area 70 uh, cm square. So we have to find the following, we have our uh, maximum power in watts, tons per volt, we have the uh, primary uh, voltage, the primary voltage, the primary current, we have the suitable uh, size of wire, uh, for the primary windings, then you have uh, the secondary voltage, uh, the secondary current, the, su the suitable wire size for uh, secondary winding, for the secondary windings. So now the first on the list is the maximum power capacity of the welding transformer. Now you can see the area, uh, maximum power area in CM squared over uh, uh, flux density all squared. So we have our area at 70 cm squared. We have the uh, flow density. The range is usually uh, between uh, from the range of 1.2 to uh, 1.5, depending on the size of the transformer. So uh, let's use 1.2 for this particular welding transformer. So um, we have maximum power is uh, 70 over 1.2 all squared. So giving us 3,402.8 watts. So we we'll call it approximately. 3,403 watts, so 3.5 kilowatts. Now the next thing is to find our tons per volt. Our tons per volt, you can see the formula here, 7.5 over area in inches. So we know our area in centimeter as a 70 square, so we convert from a centimeter square to a inches square, so it will give us 10.85 inch uh, squared. So um, that is it. So 7.5 over 10.85 give us 0 0.69 tons per volt. So some People can be uh, asking how we got 7.5. It's actually a constant, you know, for uh, convenience sake, it's always better to substitute with that value 7.5. But if you are inquisitive, you want to find out how we got that. So, uh, we got you. So, for how we got 7.5, so look, this is the formula. A tons per volt is a uh, 10 exponential 8 over 4.44 times frequency times area in inches squared uh, times this permeability P. So uh, we can see the frequency is mostly uh, 50 or 60 hertz, so we choose uh, 50 hertz here. So uh, permeability, this is the constant, uh, 6 times 10 to the power 4. So um, we have, uh, when we substitute these values, when we substitute these values, we are left with uh, 7.5 over area in inches because that is the uh, parameter we do, we, we do not know the value. So we know the value of other uh, constant like the frequency, the permeability, and all that. So uh, you can do this uh, at your convenience to uh, verify your values. So okay, that is that. So the next, we go over to our primary voltage. So the primary voltage, you can record that uh, what we had at our primary windings, uh, the, the value there is 300 tons. So um, and our tons per volt is uh, 0 0.69. So uh, the tons per volt times the primary voltage should give us the total number of tons for the uh, the particular winding. So uh, for this primary, the primary voltage you substitute the number of tons in the primary over the uh, tons per volt. So to give us this 430, approximately 435 volts. So you can see the formula we used here. So um, that is it. So um, for the primary current now, we know that power is voltage times current. So we substitute the main current the subject to the formula we have power over voltage so this gives us our power over voltage so giving us 7.8 amps so this is the current the maximum current required to flow uh, through our primary winding so that is so the next thing now is to find the suitable size of wire 
that can you know withstand the 7.8 amps so for us to do that we consult our uh, swg table so we have 7.8 amps there yeah? 7.8 amps so let's we are going to uh, look at the the uh, maximum amper uh, column so we check for the range of 7.8 so let's do that now okay i can see 17 and 16 swg so uh 17 says 7.15 16 says 9.35 so this implies that we shouldn't uh, make use of any wire less or smaller than the uh, 16 lw the next is the secondary voltage so the same formula you use uh, tons per volt times vs is number of tons so uh, our secondary voltage substitutes and make uh, if you make uh, the secondary voltage is the formula you have 50 which is the number of tons over tons per over the tons per volt so giving us 72.5 or another formula you can use uh, is the popular uh, relation for transformer calculations uh, where you have np over ns over vp over vs you should be familiar with this uh, formula so if you substitute these values you know our number of tons at the primary one is to be 300 tons the number of tons of the uh, secondary one is to be 50 you know our uh, primary voltage so the 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 parameter we are looking for here is uh, the secondary voltage. So if you substitute these values, we still have 72.5 volts at the, uh, as our secondary voltage. So, okay, uh, the next is uh, the secondary current. So this is the current that uh, is required to flow at the secondary one. So you should bear in mind that this calculation are the maximum values. The maximum values. So for the secondary one, you know uh, uh, the, the, the values or the, the, the parameters of the secondary one and such as the, the current the voltage they are dependent on what happens at the primary winding in the sense that if the maximum uh, the maximum rating of the primary winding is uh, you know accomplished as our primary one is rated 435 at 7.8 amps at that maximum value at that maximum value which is the maximum power of our welding transformer this secondary uh, this secondary uh, uh, parameters are what we are expected to get so um, if you have uh, 435 volts with your multimeter you measure 435 volts at your primary winding and you measure 7.8 amps at the same primary winding so you must get this particular uh, values at the secondary winding so you must get a voltage of 72.5 volts at the secondary one and then you must get a, a, this the particular current uh, we are going to calculate now so uh, after substituting these uh, values we have our current as 46.93 no, amps so approximately 47 amps so <coughs> sorry so um at this these are the maximum values so these are the maximum values at maximum conditions so at maximum condition of this welding transformer i have the maximum power the mass maximum power is 3403 amp uh, watts i have the maximum voltage the input maximum voltage as 435 and you have the maximum current as a uh, 7.8 amps so at this maximum conditions these values 47 amps approximately 47 amps and then 72.5 volts is what you must get at your secondary side so as uh, so we've gotten our um, uh, uh, secondary current now you can also use this particular formula to find the secondary current we know this uh, formula is pop the, form the popular formula for finding current uh, uh, waiting voltage to current uh, to find the, uh, the transformer parameter so it's a popular formula so if you if you uh, substitute these values uh, you are still going to get our 47 volt approximately 47 volt so you can verify the calculations yourself on your own so what uh what next now is to find the suitable wire or size of conductor for this secondary one is we have 47 amps here so we consult our swg table again look for a values close uh, within the range of 47 amps so no uh, any wire smaller than uh, if you check the uh, 
amperage any any uh, amperage uh, less than 47 amp so that particular size of wire must never be uh, used for this particular uh, wedding transformer so let's go ahead and uh, look at our swg table now we have uh, about 47 amps there so this is our table we look for 47 amps so we can see here number nine is a uh, 47.3 amps so this is the amp, amp uh, maximum amper column so uh, number nine is 47 so um we are going to make use of uh the number eight swg upwards so um from number eight swg upward so as i said before uh you must not use if you, if you take a look at the if you look at the uh the the current the secondary current uh, so you give us 47 so any wire less than uh, like you cannot use the number 10 as a bridge because it's, it's less than 47 amps so uh, that is that so uh, with this uh, i think you can we have understood the calculations better so they are very simple uh, calculation so uh, in all we now have we've now, we've now we've now gotten the specification or the ratings of our welding transformer as PMA equal to 33.4 kilowatts um, tons per volt is 0 0.69 tons primary voltage 435 volts primary current 7.8 amps as of for the primary uh, no less than 16 voltage uh, the secondary one is 72.5 volts my um, uh, secondary current is uh, 47 amps so, and the SWG for the secondary not less than 8.